Okay, so in today's episode, we are going to cover some of the very important EWS concepts and the services which are not very much talked about. But that doesn't mean they're not important services. Actually, they're super important. They're super critical in case you're trying for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. So let's explore all these concepts and all these services today and take some practice questions and be prepared to pass the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. So here comes the very first question for today, question number 296, part 44. The question is saying which of the following is an AWS managed domain name system or DNS web service? And your options are option A, Amazon Route S3, option B, Amazon Neptune, option C, Amazon SageMaker and option D, Amazon LightSail. And the correct answer for this question is option A, Amazon Route S3. And on this documentation, you can very well understand what exactly is Amazon Route 3, which is a reliable and cost efficient way to route end user to internet application. So primarily Amazon Route S3 is AWS managed DNS web service. I will also give you details about the other services. But before that, you can understand all the benefits of the S3. Uh, given here how it works everything is given here along with the use cases now let me very quickly tell you about the other services as well because you might get some questions around these services so coming to the amazon neptune well this service is actually a fast reliable fully managed graph database service so that is of course not linked to the dns web service that is why not the correct answer coming to the sage makeup now SageMaker is actually fully managed service that provides the developers and the like for example data scientists the ability to build train and deploy machine learning models coming to the light sale well light sale is actually designed to be you know ease of use cloud platform that offers you everything you actually need to build your application or uh, website even if you have less knowledge of the same so that is the quick introduction of all the other services as well. And yes, in the next episode, I'm going to talk about concepts like AWS regions, availability zones and edge locations. And not just that, I will also tell you about an AWS service that you can use to save huge on cost. Now moving on to the next question, question number 297, which says which of the following services could be used to deploy an application to the servers running on premises. You have to choose two correct options. Let's look at the options. Option A, AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Option B, AWS Ops Work. Option C, AWS Code Deploy. Option D, AWS Batch. And lastly, option E, AWS X-Ray. Looking at the correct options, first one is option B, AWS Ops Work. And then we have option C, AWS code deploy and actually AWS ops work and AWS code deploy are the services that basically you can use to deploy application to an on-premises server but importantly I can just mention AWS ops work is actually uh, end of life but can you can someone of you tell me what is the new service that is replacing the ops work interesting to know let's see how many of you can nail that but let me very quickly tell you aws ops work is a configuration management service that uses the chef or the puppet which can be employed to automate how the servers are configured, deployed and managed in the cloud and on premises. So both where you can use this service to deploy and manage the application. And on the other hand, the AWS code deploy is a deployment service that automates the application deployments to a variety of uh, compute services such as AWS EC2 or AWS Fargate, AWS Lambda or in fact your on-premises servers. Why not? So that was the quick introduction about the AWS Ops work and code deploy. But let me know how many of you know which service is replacing the AWS Ops work. And with that small homework for you, let's move on to the next question. Question number 298, which says, which of the following are the features of Amazon Cloud Watch Logs? Once again, choose two correct options. Looking at the options, option A is summarizes by Amazon Simple Notification Service, also known as Amazon SNS. Then we have option B, free Amazon Elasticsearch Service Analytics. Option C, provide at no charge. Option D, real-time monitoring. And option E, adjustable retention. 
Now let's check out the correct options. First one is option D, real-time monitoring. And the second one is option E, adjustable retention. And in case you're not familiar, you can read what is Amazon CloudWatch logs on this documentation. Here you can read that the Amazon CloudWatch logs are used to actually monitor, store and access your log files from Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute, which is known as Amazon EC2 instances or virtual machine in Azure and also from the AWS Cloud Trail Route S3. We just read about the Route S3 in the previous questions and other resources or sources. And you can actually use these logs to centralize all the logs from all your system applications, AWS services um, in a single and highly scalable service. And of course, once you have the logs, you can do a lot of analysis on these logs and then you can use all that analysis for other better things and as always links to all the documentation is available in the description box let's move on to the next question question number 299 that says which service allows a company with multiple aws cloud to combine its usage to obtain volume discounts and your options are option a AWS Server Migration Service, Option B, AWS Organizations, Option C, AWS Budgets, Option D, AWS Trusted Advisor, Option E, AWS QuickSight, and Option F, AWS Forecast. So how many of you could guess the correct answer? We have touched this service in the previous parts as well. And the correct answer is Option B, AWS Organizations. So let me give you a little bit more on the AWS Organization. So when you use the consolidated billing feature in the AWS organization to primarily consolidate the billing and the payment for multiple AWS accounts. So as an organization, of course, you have multiple accounts and you want to track all these accounts, their billing, their payment with one single service and that single service is AWS organization. And what are the benefits of all these consolidated billing? Well, of course, first of all, we have one bill. You get one bill for your multiple accounts. And as an organization, it's very, very helpful and time saving. Then we have easy tracking. You can track the charges across multiple accounts and download the combined cost and usage data. Then, of course, combined usage, you can combine uh, the usage across all the accounts in the organization to share the volume pricing discounts and reserved instance discounts. So that is how this combined usage work. And you can, you know, combine multiple account usages and take the reserved instance discounts. Very important concept. And I have taken multiple questions on the AWS organization uh, in the previous parts, like in part 41, 42 and 43. So please do check out them. And with that, let's move on to the next question. Question number 300, the third century of the questions. Reading the question, it says a company wants to reduce the physical compute footprint that developers use to run the code. Which service would meet that by enabling serverless architectures. Please mind it. Very important hint here. Enabling serverless architectures. Now, what are the options given? Option A, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, which is also known as EC2. Then we have AWS Lambda. We also have Amazon DynamoDB. And we also have option D as AWS Code Commit. And the correct service that meets the serverless architecture is option B, AWS Lambda. And in case you are interested, you can read all about the AWS Lambda in this documentation. Wonderful documentation, but let me sum up for you. So AWS Lambda is a compute service that lets you run the code without provisioning or managing the services or servers, sorry. Uh, and the AWS runs your code only when it is needed and scales automatically. That's a big feature and advantage of using Lambda that it scales automatically. So, you know, within seconds, within a few seconds, if you have few requests to thousands of requests, it doesn't matter. It just scales automatically according to the traffic. And one more very good advantage is that you pay only for the compute time that you consume. So there is basically no charge when you uh, when your code is not running and with the Lambda, you can run the code for virtually any type of application or backend service, all with zero administration. That is, I guess, the best part. Lambda actually runs your code on highly available compute infrastructure and also performs all the administration of the compute uh, or the computer resources, including servers, 
operating system maintenance capacity provisioning um, and maybe automatic scaling i just mentioned that and also not just that but also code monitoring and logging for your uh, services or the lambda when it is running so it generates logs so you can track all that logs as well all that what i just said is given in much more detail in this documentation please go ahead read this very important service and it will be really helpful for you uh, when you are you know building the serverless architecture wonderful service and in case my friends you are new to the world of cloud computing and want to know what are the highest paying cloud computing jobs in the year 2025 and how to prepare for them what are the certifications you need whether you are a beginner intermediate or advanced what is the preparation that you need to do whether you love the programming or not then please watch these two videos where i have given each and every detail for 22 job roles and not just that i have evaluated each of the job profile on multiple critical parameters and also given you all the knowledge in these videos for you to get prepared for these job profiles and also you can take the full advantage of the pdf files with all the question and answers for all the important exam series and for that you can email me at connectors at the rate the tech blackboard .com. and that's all for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching